on one's uppers, understanding this English idiom. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English idiom, on one's uppers. This phrase might sound a bit quirky, but it's a colorful part of the English language. Let's dive in and find out what it means and how to use it. The phrase, on one's uppers, refers to being in a state of financial difficulty or poverty. It originates from the early 20th century, where uppers referred to the upper parts of shoes. When someone's shoes were so worn out that only the uppers remained, it implied they couldn't afford new ones. Today, we use this idiom to describe someone who is experiencing hard financial times. Let's look at some examples to understand how to use on one's uppers. 1. After losing his job, he was really on his uppers, struggling to pay the bills. 2. Many small businesses are on their uppers due to the economic downturn. 3. She donated her lottery winnings to charity, remembering the days when she was on her uppers. These examples show the phrase being used to describe financial hardship in various contexts. Understanding the origin of, on one's uppers, can help us appreciate its use. The phrase dates back to the early 1900s when shoes were a significant indicator of wealth. If someone's shoes were worn out, particularly the upper part, it was a clear sign they couldn't afford new ones. This imagery has since evolved into a metaphor for financial struggle. It's also useful to know synonyms or similar expressions. Strapped for cash, in dire straits, hard up, down and out, these phrases can be used interchangeably with, on one's uppers, in many contexts. We hope this video has shed light on the interesting idiom, on one's uppers. Remember, idioms like this add color and depth to our conversations and writing. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be using English idioms like a native speaker. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson.